Hey, welcome to video number 156 of Walker This Way with Hazel Walker, the queen of all things. Be and I, and networking. I am Mark Simmons. Hazel, it's good to see you. Thanks. Good to see you too. You know, you're wearing red. Holiday seasons. I have a red background. I see. You know, pretty soon we're going to have to change to Christmas backgrounds. I know, but I have a little friend here. You it do? my friend. Hello. <laughs> Winter it's, solstice. It's the it's yes. Um, you know who this is? This is Frosty the referral man. Oh. Here to tell you it's referral season. It's referral season. It ding, is ding, referral ding, ding. season. Hazel, it's referral season. Yeah. What does that mean? We talked about this in some past videos. Right? We talked about planning, bragging, and complaining. They were three of our our um, what do they call them? I was going to say the antique walk of the Swiss videos, but they're not antique. The originals. The originals. Yeah. The original Wait, series. The pre-COVID ones. Yeah. And so, but it really is because we refer to now's the time to listen for referrals. Yeah, because it's holiday season time. And this is the first time probably in two years that we've been able to have Christmas gatherings and the chapters have been able to like come together for social events, right? right. Um, families are coming together this year for social events. And I can imagine that there'll be more than usual or they will be longer than usual. Because last year, as I recall, it was very restrictive. It was, absolutely. And, and sometimes we couldn't meet with our family at all. So I, I suspect there'll be a whole lot of that. Mm -hmm. So really, this is the season for learning to listen. Yeah. Talk less, listen more. Right. Because you're going to hear, since you haven't been together with people face to face, I know our chapters are already planning some face to face events, mm -hmm. right? Because they haven't been together. Um, and in those face to face events with the spouses and the friends and everybody coming over, you're going to start hearing people talk about all the problems that they have had. And every problem is looking for a solution, yeah. right? Every problem is looking for a solution. So if I'm complaining about something, a complaint is a cry for a referral. Every complaint is the cry for a referral. And they're just looking for someone to support and to help them. So what you want to do is listen to what people are saying when they're complaining, and then just learn to ask them a few questions. And I think I've talked on the other video, the short one, that you're going to ask questions like, uh, well, how long has that been a problem? What other solutions have you tried? Have you, have you talked to any, uh, anyone about it? Are you even looking for a solution? And once you get the answers to the, those questions and you realize people really are looking for a solution to the problem, then you can ask them who else is involved in this and who else is it affecting, who helps make this decision and, and get that information and then let them know that you know someone that can possibly fix that problem. Like right. Mark, I know someone that could probably help you with that problem. Here's some, you know, what I know about them. Does it sound like the kind of person you're looking for? So I might give them a testimonial. Um, I might tell them a little bit about your credentials. And then I'll ask, does that sound like the kind of person you're looking for? If they say yes, I will say, would you like an email introduction or a phone introduction to Mark? And once I understand that, then I can make that introduction. I can offer up that solution, right? And offer you as a solution provider. As soon as I do that, it's my job then to get hold of you right away and tell you that I talked to this person and they're expecting your call, right? Right. I need to tell you that, Mark, I've talked to them. They're willing to take your call. They're even expecting it. If you could do it within the first 48 hours, that would be brilliant. Right. So now I've set up that referral all because I was listening and asked a few questions, general questions. Um, complaining is the no, complaining is the number one thing. Nobody complains. Restaurant. Nobody complains. Oh, I could stand in a restaurant waiting to pick up a meal. I can stand in a grocery store and hear complaints. Right. Yeah. Complaints about kids, complaints about backaches. I could find chiropractors of referral every day. Right. 
just people complaining about their aches and their pains. And that's, uh, that's going to be helpful. But then there's uh, two other things. We're also listening for people who are planning. Hey, I'm setting my goals for next year. Or, hey, we're planning on taking a big, you know, we haven't had a holiday in two years. We're going to Greece for two or three weeks. That's our plan. I can start asking questions. How are you going to get there? You know, what are you going to do? Who is going to take care of your, do you have pets that are going to be, right? I can start asking all kinds of questions taught to me by my fellow BNI members. Right. And if people are planning things, that's another place that they're, they don't even know all the things that they need when they're in the beginning of the plan. I'm in the beginning of the plan to build a house. I'm in the plan of a wedding. Um, I'm planning a big bar mitzvah. I'm planning whatever, whatever it is I'm planning, I open a business. There's things I don't even know I need that you may know I need. So you can start, you know, posing those questions to me, kind of like that chapter that did that whole power team Video. round table. Yeah. Right. That that's exactly what can happen at these parties. Yeah. You can bring one customer in and the entire power team can get that same customer. Definitely. If you so, learn to listen and ask. One of the one of the important things I heard you not say, or then I didn't hear you say, is it is referral season. What it's not is pounce on referral season. No. So I guess what I'm saying is if you hear someone who, who has a potential referral, it's not, I know somebody. Ask so good pretty, questions. Ask questions, ask, get curious. Yeah, that's the key to a solid referral is learning to qualify it and ask great questions. So when we look at this as steps then, so number one is listening. listening. Two ears, one mouth, it's listening. Second piece is curiosity, ask questions. Yes, and the first question is, are you looking for a solution? Yeah. Because sometimes people aren't really, no, I don't really need a solution. My brother-in-law could do it. I could just get him over there. Yeah. Right. Then I could say, well, if that doesn't work out for you, reach out to me and I may be able to help you. Yeah. Okay. So then there's the curiosity piece. So then you have a better understanding of what the need, if there is a, a need and what that need is. Mm -hmm. Third part is the connection part. Connecting the person in front of you who has a need with the person who supplies said product or service. Right. That someone in your network that also could, that would be the person that can take care of the need. I call that the solution part of it. You're right. offering up the solution. And then the fourth piece, very important, is follow-up. Mm -hmm. See if that person, A, reached out to the person in front of you, and, or if that person in front of you has heard from. Like, do some follow-up. Right. And have, and, have and the yeah, as the person who gave the referral, you should always be involved, right? You should follow up with the person and follow up with the person who got the referral and the person who was referred. Yeah. Never just walk away from it. Yeah. Stay yeah. involved all the way to the end. Because at the end, you then want to find out, was that a good referral I sent you, Mark? How did that work? How could I have done that better? Right? We can have a conversation around that. And that uh, allows me to learn how to refer you better. So you always want to stay to the very end. Definitely. All right, Hazel, this is great advice. You know, from Hazel, myself, and our good friend, Frosty, the referral man. Um, well, he's, my, he's a good acquaintance. He's not really a friend, he's an acquaintance. But uh, the referrals are there for you to have. Just have to listen and be curious about them. Exactly, and stay engaged. And stay engaged. Yeah. All right, till next time, Hazel. See you then. Bye.